Hi everyone, Finbar here, Eunice European. Today I wanted to talk a little bit more about alerts. So if I go to the settings icon here, and on the left hand side nav you see alerts. So I just want to run through this fairly quickly. So alert policies, that's fine if you want to enable them, or enable them, you can just select here. Some of them are set up for email, I've done this before, and um, there's a blog of the PowerMax blogs series that I will link to on the um, on the Dell EMC community forum. So I'm going to link that video, this video, to this. So you can also change that up to do all if you wish. Compliance alert policies, just about your storage group compliance. Uh, I just have it set up for um, marginal and critical here. I don't want to be here about a good state of a storage group, so that's perfectly fine. You can get rid of them if you wish, if you deleted one and just wanted to get rid of it, that's perfectly okay. Performance thresholds and alerts. So I just want to show you one particular use case. These are the array level performance thresholds and alerts. Um, dealing with DX balance, cache balance, uh, your array centric uh, alerting view, I guess. And if I wanted to go to storage groups, and let's say for a particular example, very sensitive about my response time. I wanted to go in and change that. That's fine. So I can edit it here if I wish. Um, if I want to reduce it down, first threshold, second threshold. It's perfectly okay, that. That's all good. Uh, Symmetric thresholds and alerts. So if I want to go in and edit this, um, just click create. You can see what you can do, storage pool utilization, and let's say system metadata utilization. And I can amend this as necessary by moving the sliders or by using the um, up and down arrows, up and down arrows there. That's fine, I want to adjust it in this particular example. And finally, notifications. So I've configured it for email um, notifications not being sent out at the moment, only email. So it's configured for email, but not for SNMP and syslog, which is as I wanted. Uh, configure. So you set it up with your IP host and your port and the sender information. And if you wanted to create a new email address, you can put it in here. So that's a very quick overview of the alerting piece. I just wanted to show you where it's located and what you can do and change in there. Um, as I said, the blog is a lot more comprehensive and goes into a lot more specific use cases for you. So if you do have any questions, please reference the blog. And if you have further questions, please let me know on the blog. And um, thanks for listening today. Hope you got some um, good value from it. And if you want to hear more videos or more specific examples, please let me know. And please hit subscribe.